I'd like to call the February 6, 2023 meeting of the Capital Improvement Board. Uh, can you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Clerk, can we have a roll call, please? Moore? Here. Muda? Prieto? Here. Spitali? Here. Tyler? Here. Warpel? Here. Button? I'd like to make motion that we have uh, five present and two absent. Next on the agenda is a consideration of past meeting minutes. I hope you guys had time to uh, look over the past meeting minutes. Uh, do I have a motion to approve? Make a motion. Second. We have a first and second. Can I have a roll call, please? Moore? Yes. Muda? Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Warple? Yes. Button? That's uh, five yeses and uh, two absent. Uh, next on the agenda is report on the work study session. Uh, we talked about uh, the seven uh, funding allocations that uh, we have uh, coming to us shortly. Um, next, we have funding. Uh, do we have any funding? Uh, uh, no, so? Mr. President, not this evening. Not at this time. All right, thank you very much. Next, uh, we have matters from the mayor, council, and other departments. Is there uh, anyone that wishing to speak uh, from the mayor's office, uh, council, or other, any other departments? <coughs> hello, Councilman Torres. How you doing? Hello. Uh, good afternoon, board and Mr. Chairman. Uh, I just want to bring up. I, I see here that Summer Street. You're taking care of from Indianapolis to 165th. You know, we've had uh, flooding inc incidents from uh, Columbia to Indianapolis, especially that block of Sherman. And we, the district feels that been on the list for a long time. And every year we're told that maybe next year, maybe next year. I know they were waiting for federal funding, I believe it's in the works, but, but anyway, the people, of course, are getting upset uh, over this, uh, and they're just tired of waiting. This project has actually had been in the works since the first time I was in the council back in 88 uh, through 91, and uh, this problem existed, existed then, and now, of course, it continues. Because the flooding on Sherman Street begins on summer because of the sewer problems. So I was hoping uh, to get on the agenda for, for that street to be completed. Well, Councilman, uh, you'll be happy to know that uh, Summer Street from Columbia to Indianapolis has already been approved. Uh, we approved this last year. Uh, so right now it's under design engineering. Uh, we are having uh, funding allocated uh, to that uh, to help construct uh, the new sewers out there uh, as well as some uh, new water lines. So it's on the way. Okay. Yeah, I was told that uh, that was going to be done in phases. There's going to be first phase between Columbia and, and then Willis, which is one of the uh, north and south streets? That's correct. Okay, and then the second phase will be from Willis on to Indianapolis. Uh, but uh, you probably can't tell me that it's going to get started this year. Uh, I don't have that information for you, but I would suggest uh, calling the engineering department uh, and uh, seeing what, what kind of timeline uh, that's on. All right. 
Okay, thank you. And the uh, other issue is Gosling Street. We got the same problem there between Columbia and Calumet. Yes. And again, uh, those people are again in uproar over that street, which is in badly need of work. The street itself and 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 the sewer. They're having flooding problems and. Those uh, neighborhood streets, Hickory, Ash Elm. Right. So, okay, that's another one I'll address with the engineering then. Yes, please. Uh, that, that was another project that we did bring up uh, last year uh, as far as funding. Uh, but please reach out to engineering department and they can uh, be more clear on, on that project. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Councilman Emerson. Good evening, Capital Improvement Board. Um, I'm just here to, uh, I was here last month and uh, stated uh, what I wanted and uh, my wish list. And uh, so I'm reiterating that uh, the overlays of Tapper, Mulberry and Forest and ornamental lighting. Uh, and then there was much discussion amongst the board about who actually pays for ornamental lighting. And I don't have a lot of money, but uh, depending on how the boat does, you know, I get whatever I get. And uh, I'd be willing, it's about three blocks of metal lane. Overlaid it a few years ago. And uh, it's dark down there but it's dark everywhere. They don't have ornamental lighting. Sure. Uh, so I hear that a lot. Uh, so anyway, the discussion was amongst the board. And uh, so uh, the ordinance reads, I think we're, the council people are responsible for lighting. For lighting. Correct. And the overlays that I've asked for, you already, I passed that out last month. So yes, sir. that's all. Okay. Thank you, Councilman. Is there anyone else uh, in the audience from the council or other departments that wish to speak? Seeing none. Uh, next is old business. Do we have any old business? Seeing none. Next, we move on to new business. We begin with uh, A, funding allocation for general engineering services uh, with Nice Engineering in the amount of $60,000. Uh, this is an annual contract that the city engineer's office has with Nice. Um, and, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, they help out with solutions in uh, drainage, standing water throughout the city, as well as uh, sidewalks. Um, do we have any discussion? Any discussion? We have a motion? I make the motion. Second. We have a first and second. Roll call. Moore? Yes. Muda? Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Warple? Yes. Button? Let the record show we have five yes and two absent. Next, we have funding allocation for general geotechnical services with advanced engineering services in the amount of $50,000. Uh, advanced engineering services uh, are, they're also an annual contract. Um, they're on-call geotechnical services, uh, which includes field ex exploration, lab testing of soils for projects and potholing uh, in case IDEM requires samples. Do we have any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. President. Oh, I'm sorry. Like to make a motion. I like, <laughs> sorry about that. Second. We have a first and a second. Roll call, please. Moore? Yes. Muda? Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Warple? Yes. Button? Let the record show we have five yeses and two absent. Next we have uh, funding allocation for Schneider Avenue storm sewer, change order number three. 
uh, with Gary Up Construction in the amount of $98,243.56. Um, this was uh, for additional road resurfacing, um, sidewalk replacement, and also uh, reparation of a uh, six inch water line that feeds Purdue Calumet. Do you have any discussion? Discussion? No? Do I have a motion? Motion. We have a first and second. It's a second. Councilman Spitali. Sorry. Roll call, please. Moore? Yes. Muda? Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Warple? Yes. Button? Let the record show we have five yeses and two absent. Next, we have. Funding allocation uh, for uh, Community Crossings Grant for Summer Street resurfacing uh, Indianapolis Boulevard to 165th Street with First Group Engineering in the amount of $143,500. Uh, this is for uh, design engineering and construction engineering. Uh, because this is a Community Crossings Grant, uh, this is a 50-50 match uh, with 50% uh, uh, local. Uh, design engineering and construction engineering uh, have to be paid uh, locally, uh, which is why uh, it's in the amount of 143500 dollars uh, We're looking at a total cost of the project to be $2 million, with the city share being at $1 million. Have any discussion? Uh, get a motion for approval? So moved. Second. second. We have a first and a second. Roll call, please. Moore? Yes. Muda? Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Warple? Yes. Button? For the record, show five yes, two absent. Next, we have funding allocation, Kennedy Avenue reconstruction, change order number one for spare conduit with Milestone Contractor North in the amount of $48,795. Uh, it's a request from Hammond Police Department because of the construction going on on Kennedy Avenue between 164th Place and 169th Street. Um, they are requesting that uh, we put in additional conduit uh, to run fiber optic um, and, uh, you know, to possibly have uh, security cameras in the area after uh, Kennedy Avenue is uh, done. Do we have any discussion? Any discussion? Do I have a motion? No motion. Second. We have a first and a second. Roll call, please. Moore? Yes. Muda? Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Warple? Yes. Button? That's five yes and two absent. Next, we have funding allocation for Chicago Street Phase 1 Supplemental Construction Engineering with American Structure Point in the amount of $6,367.99. Uh, phase 1 is still currently uh, under uh, federal funding. So our match for the remainder of this phase uh, is 20%, which is the total of $6,367.99. Any discussion? Discussion? Do you have a motion? I'll make the motion. Second. We have a first and a second. Roll call, please. Moore? Yes. Muda? Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Warple? Yes. Button? Let the record show we have five yes and two absent. And lastly, we have a funding allocation for Chicago Street Phase 2 Supplemental Construction Engineering with American Structure Point in the amount of $49,815.68. Uh, Phase two uh, is ran out of money federally, so uh, which is why we have to pay a total of forty-eight thousand. I'm sorry, forty-nine thousand eight hundred fifteen dollars and sixty-eight cents. 
Uh, there is no more 20% match. Um, and this was for uh, extended uh, duration of the project. Do you have any discussion? Any discussion? Make a motion. So moved. Second. We have a first and a second. Roll call, please. Moore? Yes. Muda? Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Warple? Yes. Button? Let the record show five yes and two absent. And this is the end of the funding allocations for today. Lastly, we have public expression. Uh, we have a few people on here. First, uh, Mr. Paul Marciniak. Thank Hello, you. sir. Can you state your name and your address, please? My name's Paul Marciniak. I live at 4711 Torrance in Hammond. And uh, the topic I originally came is gonna be spoken about at a, a council meeting and with uh, uh, Pete and uh, Jaime at the water department. But uh, as long as I'm here, some other concerns that I would like to bring up is um, the idea, since you are the capital investment of the city, you know, making capital improvements and whatnot, uh, the idea of, uh, um, uh, you know, what's being done for resiliency uh, on a local level, you know, decentralized from depending on the Fed, the state, on a local level, you know, what we can do as, as uh, neighborhoods and individuals and as the city uh, in cases of emergency such as a, um, you know, perhaps an attack on a uh, electrical, <clears throat> electrical grid, which knocks the power out for, you know, more than a few days or longer, which when you start seeing balloons flying from other countries overhead, which uh, are allowed to go over the whole nation before they're taken out, instead of being taken out before they hit Alaska, I think is something we ought to be concerned about. And again, the word is, the, 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 the idea is decentralization, decentralized systems, decentralized response, keeping our own databases about things like uh, pandemics, pandemics, and the, the mandated responses to those type of things. Those need to be decentralized. Those need to be made on a local level, county level, rather than uh, enforced from some who knows who from above. Uh, which uh, brings me to the uh, other point I wanted to make about there's, if you go north here on Calumet to that fire station that's on the east side of the corner there, I don't have the exact address, but across the street from that fire station, mm -hmm. something I've noticed, and I've noticed a couple others around town, I, I'm starting to map them out, you, you know, just by hand. Uh, a pole about as tall as it with that emergency speakers on out there, twi twice as high as any ordinary uh, power line, or twice as high as, you know, telephone pole, so to speak. Made a real big steel and tied into the electrical grid with some communications devices up there. I was wondering if that's something that the city of Hammond put up. Is it something that uh, this capital investment board put up? And it's not the only one. There's another one due east, maybe a little bit offset from it, but due east on Columbia, right in the sidewalk, right in front of someone's house. And it's connected to the electrical grid? It's connected to the electrical grid. I, 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 would, I would suggest asking uh, NIPSCO about that. It's, it's something that we... And it's a communication tower that goes way up high, and it has, you know, and, right. and you know, I've kind of taken it upon myself again, with the idea of decentralizing and taking responsibility for ourselves at a local level, rather than always going to big brother government, you know, and perhaps even the UN come in here and tell us what to do someday, who knows? Understand. Okay. 
So I've taken it upon myself to get something called a software defined radio device. I only received it about three, four weeks ago. They're very small. They can be run off even a cell phone once you learn how to use it, <clears throat> which I didn't do yet. But we'll be able to uh, take it upon ourselves to monitor for all these various frequencies, you know, electromagnetic frequencies, you know, for communications mm -hmm. and whatever else we're not sure of. You know, there's frequencies for all types of things, and there we're kind of, we're kind of overloaded with them. Uh, even in this room. And uh, without getting too long-winded, the thing about frequencies is something we don't know about. Something I know about just from my own research and that I'm not gonna, I can talk for too long about it right now, but we have to be able to know what that, those, tow those gridded out towers that are in several places, they seem to be at certain distances from each other that were put up. And if you guys don't know anything about it, then Hammond didn't put them up. That would be something you probably would ask uh, the engineering department. And was, sure was, they was, who, was whoever put them up had to come to Hammond to get permission to put them up is Correct. my question. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So anyway, just, just, just to take note of these things. Yeah. And, so, and you know, as what, far as those, I can direct you to uh, the engineering department. Uh, thank you. OK. And uh, yeah, we got to watch what I intend to monitor what frequencies and the, what amplitude the frequencies are coming out of these things. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What is the frequency? Councilman Torres or Councilman Emerson? Do you guys have anything else to add? No? Okay. Um, well, thank you uh, for everyone uh, who attended today. Uh, the next meeting uh, looks like it should have been scheduled for uh, February 20th, but it looks like uh, in honor of President's Day, um, we currently uh, will set the meeting for Tuesday, February 21st, uh, 5.30 session uh, with a 6 p.m. meeting unless otherwise uh, told by uh, Dean and uh, our engineering department. You said a 6 p.m. meeting? Yes, on Tuesdays it, it would be 5.30 work session and a 6 p.m. meeting. Okay. Unless uh, we don't have any actions for that day, then you know we will we'll cancel it. That's why I was late. <laughs> That's fine. All right, do I have a motion to adjourn? So, so moved. moved. Second.